Let me demonstrate the key user concept implemented in our uh, SAP add-on. So this is John Williams, who does not have authorization to execute transaction BP. So let's report this as a problem. Um, I will just choose the help menu and press create support message. I allow the program to take a screenshot and now the main screen appears. But this is a little bit different because this is a, a, an end user and not a key user. So let's uh, enter subject. And uh, end users will have a key user drop down value where they uh, have to select a key user. And uh, then when I press send, the ticket will be sent to uh, uh, that user instead of directly sending it to the service desk to service now. So uh, I may select a, a group as well. I enter a text and I press send. Now I get a notification that this ticket was sent to the key user. And if I change a window and hit enter, I get an express document that I uh, received the message. So let me check it. Um, this message can be sent as an email or using this SAP Business Workplace, but for the sake of simplicity, I will use this one instead of an email. So we have all the attachments here, the PDF file that is uh, generated uh, with all the ticket details, um, screen uh, number, program name, application component, and so on. Basically, everything is here. Uh, information on the SAP user system and so on. Here we have all the uh, other attachments as well, the screenshot for example, and uh, one which is really important in this case, the output of transaction SU53, which is the um, SAP authorization report. And here you can see that the uh, user tried to execute transaction BP several times and uh, that's uh, the problematic transaction that he or she cannot uh, execute. So now I have a special transaction which uh, shows all the tickets that were sent to me. So this is my user now. You can see that this user has sent uh, quite a few and this is the last one that we uh, created. So now I can make an educated guess if this is a real problem, then I can send this to ServiceNow. Of course, if it's not, if it's just a user mistake, then you can reply in the email or in the SAP office message that uh, this is, is what you have to do and this is not a real problem. But now let's uh, continue. If uh, you press this button, then you can open the ticket that was entered by the key user. You can even enter new text here. So if you have extra information, you're maybe a more experienced user, obviously that's why you're a key user, so you can modify the message, you can uh, even change the um, uh, drop-down values that were proposed by the end user. Maybe this is not going to this group, you know that this should go to something else. Uh, and then uh, let's open the ticket using the send button. All right, so here we go. This is the ticket that was just created. Let's jump into uh, the system with another user. So this one is uh, the one that we just created. So in the case of key user concept, the open by and the caller are not the same. So the caller is the end user who reported the problem, and the open by field contains the key user who actually submitted the ticket. Naturally, you have all the extra um, uh, attachments uh, all the fields populated uh, and so on.